Call of Duty. A franchise that has been going uh, quite a long time. I started playing Call of Duty. Oh. Big Red 1. I think it was on the PlayStation 2. A long, long time ago. A very long, long time ago. Uh, but still carried playing it through the years, as you do. Good game. Lots of shooting. If you want a couple of hours of nonsense, uh, go and dabble in the multiplayer of that later on. Uh, COD 4, great. The general theme of this is um, I don't really play COD anymore, but I still like watching people play it now and again. Uh, I like watching Jack Frags play it now and again when he plays the Warzone. Uh, but I'm too old. I'm too old to be playing Call of Duty. I tried buying uh, Modern Warfare 2. And mm -mm, these old hands have got too stubby. These massive fat hands are a bit too slow. So I, can't keep, I can't keep up, so I just stick to me single player games nowadays. But I did, I did, I, it doesn't mean that I don't like COD to watch. I like watching people running around shooting people. But the point of this video is, throughout the years of playing COD, you always see game tie-ins, movies with, game, with games tie-ins. You, you've had many horrendous game tie-ins, uh, movie tie-ins throughout the years for your games. One of the worst, obviously, being Super Mario. Uh, then you got Doom with The Rock. You know, you've had some horrendous things. The new Sonics have been quite good. I've enjoyed them with my kids. Oh, with one of my kids, the other one just doesn't seem doesn't seem to want to watch them. But it was never a Call of Duty movie. There's never been one. But my point here is to say there is three movies out there. There's actually four movies out there, but I'm going to only go with these three. That if you want to watch a Call of Duty movie, that is basically just Call of Duty on your screen, and you just want to watch it for fun. There is nothing closer and nothing better, action-wise. Basically, it just looks like Call of Duty all the way through it. Uh, is this. These three films. Olympus has fallen, London has fallen, and Angel has fallen. The last one isn't the best movie in the world, but it's still watchable. But the first two are basically Call of Duty live action. That's all I can describe them as. That's what they are. And I think the fun. I think the the action's fantastic. Um, the dialogue's a bit crap, but <laughs> is it Call of Duty? Is but the gunplay, the gun action, everything about it, even the scenarios, even the scenarios. Uh, the first one just reminds me of um, is it Modern Warfare Three or Modern War? Which one did they take the White House? I think it might be Modern Warfare Two. I'm sure it might be. Two. I can't remember. I think it's three. Oh, it was a long time ago. Might be three. And then you got London has fallen, uh, which they always visit the old London in some of the Call of Duties. It's just very Call of Duty. I don't. And I just think it's uh, if you're into your Call of Duty and you want to watch a film that's basically Call of Duty the movie, you can't go wrong with uh, the old. Can't even remember his name. You know. I've got the disc. I've got the disc in front of me. And I can't remember his name. And I've watched I must have watched these films six, seven times, eight times. I hate the fact that I don't know his name. I know he's Scottish. I know that he's played. But I'm gonna have to turn it over, Anna. Oh I hate doing this. I'm gonna have to. Where's his name? Where's his name? I can't believe I didn't remember his name. Oh my god, Gerard Butler, I'm so sorry. Did you know he's got he's got many, 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 many good films he has. Uh, but 
is a uh, what's the word for it? He's not an A tier, but he's not a B tier actor. He's like in the middle. You know, most of his films are quite decent, and then every now and again he brings out a stinker. But you could say that about any A tier actor, couldn't you? I mean, look at Samuel Jackson. He has two two great hits, and then he has seventy five absolute crap films. So you can never judge an actor on that sense. But this is just a, a quick tip, really. Just a tip. If you like Call of Duty and you want to watch a film that's basically Call of Duty on screen, Olympus has fallen, London has fallen, Angel has fallen. The fourth one that I was on about came out at the same time as Olympus has fallen. It is... Uh, the one with Channing in it. Can't remember his name. Channing Tatum. Yeah, Channing Tatum. Uh, White House Down. Uh, yep, yeah, that's same similar kind of film. As a matter of fact, I think it's basically exactly the same. Uh, all depends on which actor you want to watch, really. But I'd say that this one is closer to a game of Call of Duty. Um, so go and watch. And what do you think? And then come back and tell me if you thought it was close to Call of Duty. Closest thing you can get to Call of Duty on screen without calling it a Call of Duty. See you in the next one.